Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good morning friends, after exhausting ourselves with huge huge expressions, we decided that we will try to see what are the information we get from one dimensional analysis of pitching motion, yawing motion and rolling motion. And you will see how important are these in designing stability augmentation system. We have already done longitudinal case. If I take pure yaw, that is only this yaw motion is allowed. Okay? And as you know, as far as yaw is concerned, when the right wing goes back, that is a positive yawing moment. When I am flying like this and right wing goes back, that is a positive yawing moment. And you also know that. I Z Z R dot is equal to yawing moment n, where R is the yaw rate, and n I can write it as half rho v square S B into C N P into P B by 2 U 1 plus C N R into R B by 2 U 1. Let me write R like this plus C n beta into beta plus C n delta r into delta r. I am neglecting any contribution because of beta dot or delta a both. This I am neglecting. both beta and delta contribution, beta dot and delta contribution I am, neg I am neglecting. You know beta dot is like alpha dot, alpha dot for longitudinal plane and beta dot is because of side wash, rate of change of side wash on the specially on the vertical tail which I am neglecting. Uh, it should not confuse you. So, let me erase this part. I write it here that beta dot and delta A effect are neglected. So, this is the equation I have got. Again, you are now expert. I write R dot equal to what? R dot is nothing but psi double dot. Remember? Because psi dot is basically R. The so, your rate, if there are no bank, just we are talking about this. So, psi dot is basically r and r double dot is psi double dot and also we know that psi equal to minus beta. Remember if this is the airplane this is psi equal to 0 relative wind is coming like this if I turn the airplane like this then this is the psi and this is relative air is coming like this. So, this is also minus beta right? because positive beta we have defined relative wind coming from the right hand side. So, if there is no bank it is yawing in the horizontal plane then psi equal to minus beta. right? So, now if I translate this equation using this, then I get I z z psi double dot is equal to, I can write this q s b, where q is the dynamic pressure into c n p into p b by 2 u 1 plus c n r into r b by 2 u 1 and plus c n beta into beta plus C n delta r into delta r. 
right. But what we are looking for, you are writing the equation in psi, we know psi equal to minus beta. So, here I will write this term I will write as plus C n beta into psi the minus sign and here this r I will write C n r into psi dot b by 2 u 1. Is this clear what I have done? Psi dot is r. So, for r I have written psi dot and beta equal to minus psi. So, this minus Okay, very simple. So, the final the equation takes a form psi double dot equal to I can write n p into p plus n r into r plus n beta into beta plus n delta r into delta r. Right. So, what is n p? n p is nothing but from here you can see n p is nothing but q s b c n p b by 2 u 1 divided by i z z. Okay. Similarly, c n r or sorry edit similarly n r will be c n r into b by 2 u 1 into q s b divided by i z z like that you can find this expression which you already you know. And of course, here I have to modify it, I write it as psi dot and I write minus this. Okay. What I have done from this equation beta equal to minus psi and psi dot equal to r. So, all those things I have converted into psi dot. Now, if the airplane is doing only pure yaw like this, then there is no p, right? We are, we are not doing this motion, we are only doing this motion. So, naturally, I will say thank you very much. This term goes. So, I have got psi double dot is equal to n r into psi dot minus n beta into psi plus n delta r into delta r. So, I can write this as psi double dot minus n r psi dot plus n beta into psi is equal to n delta r into delta r. Again you see pure yaw motion when we are modeling, we are again getting a second order differential equation and which is same the form is same as mass spring damper system equations of motion and we know how to handle that from this equation I can write omega will be equal to under root of n beta and similarly 2 zeta omega will be omega n omega n will be equal to minus n r. Remember for longitudinal case it was omega n was minus m alpha. So, now see the beauty if you want to change omega n this clearly tells you you have to handle C n beta and how can you handle C n beta how can you change C n beta you know it is through vertical tail volume ratio. Okay. That means either you increase the vertical tail area or increase the length the vertical tail from the or distance of the vertical tail from the CG of the airplane. Once this is done, then we have to do the pure roll. Let us see what we understand from pure roll and how can those informations I can use for designing a stability argumentation system. So, let us discuss about pure roll. And before we discuss this, please understand pure role we are meaning thereby this is the pure role, right. But you know, as I roll like this, the angle of attack here will increase. So, drag also will increase here. So, that will give me a 
yawing moment also. Like when you are doing yawing moment like this, so the lift here will increase, it will give a roll also. But we are seeing only one dimensional motion that is we are only talking about pure roll, no yaw motion, right. So, again if I write the equation for that, this is rotation about x axis, this is equal to rolling moment, that is equal to half rho v square s b into C L P into P B by 2 U 1 plus C L beta into beta plus C L R into R B by 2 U 1 plus C L delta A into delta A. This is a generic form, but you know it is a pure roll. Since it is a pure roll, beta is not there, r is not there. This only I am doing pure roll, this no beta or no yaw. If I do this, then I get i x x p dot equal to q s b into c l p into p b by 2 u 1 plus C L delta A into delta A, because this goes, this is R means this is the R, this is also this R, this also goes, okay, so 0, 0. So, this is the form and I can easily write P dot equal to L P into P plus L delta A into delta A. So simple. And what is LP? LP is what will be LP? LP will be equal to QSB by IXS CLP into B by 2U1. Similarly, CL delta you can find out. And you could see this. This is a first order differential equation, and you can easily find out the expression of P and this p will be given by minus l delta a into delta a let me write this divided by l p into 1 minus e to the power l p into t and is you can find because phi dot is equal to p we are only doing one dimensional role and phi is the bank angle. So, from here you can find out phi t equal to minus L delta A into delta A by L p into t plus L delta A into delta A by L p square 1 by sorry e to the power L p t minus 1. So, what is the message if I try to read p t, p of t, that as time goes to infinity or for large time, since L p is negative, so this gentleman will go to approach to 0. So, p of steady state that is at t approaching infinity, this will be minus L delta A into delta A by L p. Okay. So, depending upon what type of delta A aileron you have given, the step input, pulse, impulse, whatever it is, right. So, you know what will be the steady state value. And for phi also you have seen this, L p t is negative. So, as, as your time increases, this L p t so, e to the power 0 as time tends to infinity, this whole will become e to the power minus t, where t tends to infinity. So, this goes to 1 and then phi also approaches a value which constantly increases with time t as time increases. So, that if I try to plot it, how will it look like? Let us plot phi t versus t 
and you could see that the variation is like this. So phi goes on increasing with time. But interestingly, you could see if I take a slope at some point, that phi dot at this point is basically p steady state. And that slope you can draw at some point, which will correspond to time equal to t equal to t r. And if I try to see what is phi dot doing, phi dot versus time, you will find that it is So, this is PSS or steady state P. You could see phi of t is L delta by delta by L p and L delta into delta by L p square e to the power L p t minus 1 and we know L p t is negative. So, if I plot it like this, it will reach P steady state as time goes to infinity. Right? This is here. As, as time goes to infinity, this gentleman goes to 0 and so you have p steady state as l delta into delta a by l p. This is which is given here just I repeating. But the question what we are looking for is not on understanding the variation. Question is if I try to alter the rate at which p of t is increasing or going to going asymptotically to a steady state value, I have L p t L p here. I have to do something with L p, roll damping which is lying here, because L delta is active. So, comes through aileron. So, and L p which is the roll damping, they decides the stability. Okay. So, in stability augmentation system, also we know if you want to tweak the roll response, I need to play around with L p that is very important. Okay. So, if I again come back here, this is the phi of t variation, this is phi dot t variation which are coming from this is for phi dot t and this is for phi t and you can see that the variation goes like this. And we also realize that if I want to do something with the roll response, if I want to do something with the roll response, the L p which is the roll damping derivative, I have to play around with that. See this one dimension analysis for longitudinal, we identified C m alpha is the key parameter, C m q is the key parameter. For directional, we found C n beta and C n r. Okay. And for roll, we found C l p. So, we have seen that for longitudinal case, it is C m alpha, C m q and for directional case, it is C n beta, C n r and for roll, it is C l p that plays important role. When I coming to roll, I also get a notice of this term T r. I am sure you would like to know what is T r. T r otherwise it will not be complete. So, say at T equal to minus 1 by L p which I call T r time constant at roll. If T is equal to 1 by L p T r. So, 1 by L p T r means e to the power L p L p t that is L p into minus 1 by L p. Okay. This t is minus 1 by L p. So, L p L p goes gets cancelled and then you have p at t r equal to you can check it is minus L delta a into delta a by L p into 1 minus e to the power minus 1 and which is close to 0 0.63 of p steady state. So, you can understand that roll time constant T r, this is roll time constant, very important information it gives for a designer. 
the roll time constant T r is that time at which the value of P goes to 63 percent of the steady state value. Okay. Most of the design you will find this 63 percent of the steady state value plays an important role in freezing the initial design parameters. So, I thought I must complete this. Now, I think we are ready for venturing into stability argumentation system. Stability argumentation system. What does actually mean? Let us say I take longitudinal case. Right. We will be mostly focusing on omega n and zeta through handling qualities of airplane, which I will talk next lecture. But just to warm up you, for longitudinal case, if there is a requirement of increasing omega n, that means you know omega n we know from approximate analysis it is proportional to minus m alpha which is nothing but minus half rho v square s c m alpha by i y y and c will come here c right. If you want to increase omega n natural frequency longitudinal pitching motion short period you could see how can I increase this before I talk of increasing this I see that omega n will vary with rho with v this is very important that as I go higher and higher the omega n will go on reducing. Similarly, as I go on increasing the speed the omega n will go on increasing right this is very very important to observe. Also I see I can tweak the omega n by changing C m alpha and the problem is what is C m alpha? C m alpha has direct link with stability margin that you know. So, you cannot go on changing the stability margin in flight, okay. but if at all at the beginning you have to change omega n and if you decided to change through C m alpha that means, if this is your horizontal tail and suppose somewhere here there is a C g. So, you have to increase tail volume ratio that is either you increase the size or draw it backward because V h is S t L t by S c bar V. So, if you want to increase C m alpha you have to increase tail volume ratio that means, increase tail area or this length from A c of the tail C g of the airplane. So, the initial stage once you have done it now you do not have option to change it that is not a very good design. Okay. However, as you see omega n changes with density changes with v. So, you may not be very happy with the initial design whatever it is you may online change the value of omega n depending upon what is the density of air at what altitude you are flying what speed you are flying. So, you want something which I can do it online or flying and if I required it should automatically change it to the requirement which satisfy the pilots flying quality requirements right. So, that is where we need to have a stability argumentation system and this is true for directional as well as roll. So, from next class or next lecture I will be focusing on stability argumentation system. I hope up to this point after fighting through huge huge expression finally you see I have tried to narrow down to a very simplistic expression from the designer's perspective. Once you freeze the parameter with this simplistic approach you can go back and go up to the exact equation and find out the final characteristics of the airplane that was the aim. Thank you very much.